was good on my welcome back to our sneakers where we upload a video every single Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Today we do got some Jordan talk to do. It is finally time to talk about Jordans because lately Jordans have been getting fire. I cannot lie. Starting in December last year, they began to release some hot Jordans starting on the weekend of Art Basel. I think it's what it's called. I think it's called Art Basel or Art Weekend or something like that. It is a weekend where a lot of artists go down to Wynwood in Miami and they show off their art in different art galleries and also on that whole strip. And that same weekend and that same location, they released two pairs of Jordans. I don't know the exact names of them. They are a white with black and a light pink colorway and they are a white and black with a light blue colorway. And after that, for the rest of the year, they didn't really release anything else that was hot as far as Jordans go. And to start off, they are releasing the bread toe ones, which is of course what this video is about here's a picture of them if you guys have never seen them before they do remind me of the black toe ones because they are pretty much the same color except they are a bread toe because it only makes sense that they're going to change it from white to red but then it does not make sense as to why they call this shoe the black toe if it is a white toe and now the new ones are called bread toes and they're going to be red right here on the toe box i don't understand that but i don't really care the name for these are just called black toes and i'm not gonna lie i was really disappointed at the sneaker when it came out because this sneaker is iconic why i'm not exactly too sure but i know that this sneaker was released back when Jordan was in the game and that's the only reason I picked up the shoe is because this shoe has history behind it as well as the royal ones which is another sneaker I don't know why I picked up they're completely ugly I really don't like the colorway but I picked them up because they are royal ones they are really iconic and they do have history behind them however I am more pleased with the royal ones than I am with these because of the leather quality the leather quality on the royal ones is actually a little bit nicer you do have somewhat of a pigskin leather and on this black toe one they literally have no pigskin leather the leather on the toe is very crappy the leather on the freaking everywhere else is crappy and I'm very disappointed at the sneaker. However, the bread toe ones, they did bring back the pigskin leather, which I am very excited about. But unfortunately, I will not be picking this sneaker up. Don't get me wrong, it is a fire sneaker, but it just has no iconic meaning to it. And for me just to get it, I feel like I'm not gonna wear it since I barely wear this one. I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna wear one that has a red toe box and it has no history behind it. And I barely wear this one and it has a lot of history behind it. I think I wore this probably like two or three times since I got the sneaker. I probably worn this one more and I don't like the colorway at this at all. But going back to the bread toes, the colorway is really fire. It does match a lot more to have the red here since you do have some red back here however one thing i think they could have done with the sneaker is to keep the toe white like they did on the white toes or the I'm not the white toes. See, now I'm getting confused talking about the bread toes and the black toes. And now I'm calling these white toes because they have a white toe box. I think the bread toes would have looked better if they kept the tongue white like this. However, they did change it to the black as you guys saw in the picture earlier. I think it would have popped a lot more if the tongue was white. You have a red toe right here. You have the red here, the white here, and then the white midsole, and then the red outsole. Fire. It would have looked really, really fire. The black tongue, I think, kills the shoe. It just dims down the colors too much and it doesn't make it pop. And that being said, I think Nike should just hire me, you know, because. I could probably make this thing just way more fire and get on more sales because they're not doing a good job. As far as the release date goes, they do drop a month from tomorrow, which today is the 23rd and tomorrow is the 24th, which means that they're going to drop on February 24th of 2018. So that means you guys can pick them up then for the price of $160, which is the regular price for any Jordan 1. All other Jordans just like to skyrocket in price for some reason. I don't know why. Literally, I guess it's meant to make up for the shoes that they don't sell that actually sit on shelves because they're overplaying Jordans. However, I think the bread toe will actually sell out because it is pretty much a mixture of the bread ones and the black toe ones. You pretty much just have both sneakers. It's actually literally a mixture of the two. You just have this right here and this right here and that's pretty much it you literally just swap that and you have your bread toe one the sneaker does have some hype behind it so like i said that means it will sell out and also you guys already know what that means when something has hype behind it it is going to have resell i don't want to say it's going to have high resell but i do have a feeling that it is going to have somewhat of a resell maybe like 10 20 30 bucks 50 bucks max anything over 50 bucks is just way too much so if you guys are making your pre-orders now make sure you don't pay anything over 50 bucks honestly you can probably get the shoe yourself the way i get all my yeezys and all my jordan ones you guys can get the same way i'm not gonna make a video on that again because i feel like it's so repetitive now that it's just gonna be overplayed but if you guys really want me to then i will make a video before the release date however i don't know if foot action champs and foot locker are going to be getting the sneakers so i'm not even sure that you guys can get it that way but if those three stores are dropping them which they most likely are then i can pretty much make a video on telling you guys how you guys can raise your chances on getting these sneakers and that being said i'm not going to tell you guys where you guys can get the sneaker in this video like i said if you guys want me to make a video on that then i will do my research because i have not previously done my research to tell you guys where you guys can get them so that's the reason i'm not saying it in this video but if you guys do want me to like i said i will do my research and then make a video on that and telling you guys instead of you guys having to actually look it up yourselves because i know that's a big pain i used to hate doing that when i was like into reselling so I got you guys if you guys really want me to. Anyways, that's it for today. You guys know before I go that I do gotta give a shout out to the fan of the day, and today's fan of the day does go to your V Valdez. If you guys didn't enjoy the video, make sure to give the video a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe. Make sure you smash that thumbs up and the subscribe button. We are trying to get to 25,000 subscribers by the end of this month. Anyways, guys, make sure you keep grinding. It's your bar sneaker sign out.